if you skip any part of this video i cannot give you a hundred percent guarantee i'm going to show you two simple ways of solving this problem without stress the first will be the most popular method which works for millions of people but not me and the second one is my own unique method i discovered the cool aspect of this is that these methods work for all adobe products photoshop premiere pro xd after effects and others so without any further ado let's get into it for the first method you need to locate the folder and here is my folder click on it and then ctrl c to copy and preferably paste it on your desktop to ctrl v to paste Okay, now the copy and paste process is complete. Before you continue, make sure you have WinRAR installed on your PC. If you don't have it, just go to your home or any browser that you have. Search WinRAR download for PC and you should be able to install it. Let's proceed. So now that you have pasted your file, now right click on the file that you pasted and then to WinRAR, add to archive. Here, click on OK. After the process is complete, Make sure you delete the main folder that you brought here. Click on your delete, delete it, and bring your zipped file. Right click on it, bring raw extract to Premiere Pro. Now you have your folder back. So, what you do is that you install it with the normal process that you did earlier. So, over here, what I'll do, I'll double click on it, double click on it again, double click on it again, and then run it with this setup. And that should be able to work for me. If it doesn't work, check out my simple yet unique method I discovered. But before then, subscribe to my YouTube channel for Photoshop tutorials and graphic design tips and tricks. With my unique method, which is the second and the last method, you need an external hard drive. I don't know whether using a pen drive will work because I use a hard drive for that. You can try with a pen drive and let me know in the comment section if it works. And that is insert your hard drive or your pen drive inside your PC. And copy the file that's the folder of the file into your pen drive or your hard drive after the process is complete eject the hard drive and remove it from your PC and insert it again on your PC search for it on your hard drive I'll search for the folder that you just pasted on your hard drive and that's it open it and install it as usual it's going to solve your problem this problem here is similar to this one so if you want to learn how to activate your graphics in photoshop just click this video on the screen until next time quench not your creativity Peace. No,